Okay, Valerie, can you see me now? Can you see me? Am I am I right? Am I sideways? What's what what you thinking? Can you see me? Valerie. Valerie. I got a new light and I'm just playing with it. And a minute ago I was like turned sideways, which I wasn't trying to do that. Hopefully someone will come on in a minute and tell me if they can see me. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we'll just go with it. See what we think. So, I'm just going to do like a simple eye makeup look, okay? And I got a new light, so I'm working on like making it perfect. Um, it has a little mirror under my phone. And so hopefully you'll be able to see like when I put my eye makeup on, you'll be able to see um, exactly what I'm doing a little bit better. And if you think it needs to be a little bit brighter, see that's too bright, that might work. So let's just see. So first thing that you always want to do when you're doing your eye makeup is get you um, a light shade and use it as your base coat. So this one is called Pink Frost. Can you sell that? Not really, but um, it's called Pink Frost, and these are our shadows, and um, they come in these little tubes. They're cream, and um, the reason why I love them so much is because, one, you can, um, they're not a powder, so if you drop them, they're not going to break, and um, two, you can also use them for other things. Like, you can use this Pink Frost as a highlighter if you wanted to. You can use it as a concealer if you wanted to, so I'm all about, like, having um, less products and products that have, like, more than one use. So... With my Pink Frost on my blending palette, I'm going to use this eye crease brush. See, it's kind of flat like so. I really hope I'm not sideways. My camera doesn't show that I'm sideways, so I'm hoping I'm not sideways to you guys. So, um, just let me know if I am. So, you want to put this all over your lid, top to bottom, whatever your light shade is. If you're going to wear, um, you know, like pink, red stuff, um, I would recommend you doing... Um, you know, like pink frost for your base coat. You see, like all over, okay? And whenever I say all over, you just want to kind of fill it in, like up in here, go down, and then you want to have a nice stopping point from here. Hey, Lori, am I sideways? I I was a minute ago. Hopefully, I'm not sideways this time. Comment if I'm not sideways, please. Valerie's watching. Somebody give me a thumbs up if I'm uh, not sideways. Okay, so can you just like see the difference just by doing a base coat? Like it's so much brighter over here. Woo! Sweet Laura, Lori, sorry. I got Laura on my brain. Um, so this, look how much brighter it is. It's so much better. Um, okay, so I'm just going to use this pink for us. I'm gonna need a little bit more. Know that our products dry. So, um, you do need to work with them, like, pretty quickly, um, or they're going to dry on you, and you're not going to get to mix it to where you want it to go. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here with my base coat? You see, you see, you see? You are not sideways. Hallelujah. How's the lighting? Do you think I should turn it up, turn it down, doing good with the lighting? Because I can adjust it. With your lightest coat, you want to do a little bit on the inside here, and that's just going to brighten your eye area up, okay? So, there's my pink frost base coat. Look at how much brighter my face looks, like, already. Looks way different, doesn't it? Eye crease brush. This is just what I used, okay? And I have brushes if you um, purchase um, three eyeshadows, because um, I usually sell them in trios. Um, a light color, a medium color, and then, like, a darker shade. Um, that you use as your accent color, I'll give you brushes that I recommend. So you don't have to go and like try to find what I call an eye crease brush. You don't have to go and, and look for that. I'll give that to you. Um, next thing that you want to do is your medium color. And today my medium is mulberry. How did you get it from the tube onto the brush? Oh, okay, Lori. So what I do is um, I have a blending palette like this. And um, you... I just use this, the tip of it, and I just like put it on my blending palette like so. And then I dip into my blending palette. Now since yours is like your own, you know, um, 
because some of these colors I use as my testers and so I don't want to like cross contaminate them. But since it's yours, you can just apply it to the eye where you want it and then use the brush to go in and put it where you want to. And you can also like use the back of your hand as a blending palette. Um, so whichever way that like, kind of works for you. Next, I'm gonna get my eye crease brush and, or maybe that's the eye definer brush. Nope, it's an eye crease brush. And it is kind of short. So it's about the size of mm, my fingernail if I didn't have them long. So just like from the cuticle like to the tip. Um, that's about how long it is and it's rounded. But again, if you purchase three colors from me, I will give you one of these for free with the other brush too. So I'm going to go in and get my mulberry off of my blending palette. And then I'm just going to go in my crease. And this particular like eye makeup, um, application pretty much works for everybody. There are different ways that you can add like different touches to it for your eye, um, for your eye shape. If your eyes are, um, like more, um, close set like this, you'll put a little bit of, um, the darker here and it kind of like gives you the illusion of, um, your eyes being more, um, centered on your face. Not everybody's face is, um, perfectly like centered so that kind of stuff goes along and if you're if you're interested in some of that stuff um i can show you all of that in um a one-on-one -on -one demo with uh just you and me so there's my eye crease okay and see like it's not blended very well right here okay and it's not blended very well right here but you always want to make sure and stop here i say this in all my videos stop here and then go over okay so i have my mulberry my medium color in my crease I'm going to use my eye definer brush before this draws on my face, on my eye, and then I'm just going to like blend it in, okay? Blending is your friend. If you don't blend, that's when you get those like super harsh lines and people can tell exactly where you stopped putting different colors, okay? So I'm just blending, blending, blending. Okay, you see? It's blended now. Do y'all like this mirror that I have? Like, can you really like see what I'm doing with this mirror opposed to what I had been using? I hope it's um, a better way for me to show you guys what to do. Okay, mulberry here in the middle. Valerie, you still watching? Valerie and I were hanging out yesterday. Um, and so I was, she was about to leave. And then I'll be dang, the uh, UPS man, USPS man delivered um, this new lot so we got to play with it before she left it was a lot of fun um well she really got to play with it and i got to deal with Allie being like a complete little rotten brat because she needed a nap okay so i'm blending going in blending blending so if you have more of like um a creased what is the word um like mm, i'm like drawing a blank um if you have more of the eye where like you don't really get to see a whole lot of your lid right here, I cannot believe, I cannot remember what it's called. Um, right in here, like you can still see mine whenever my eye is um, open. But some people you can't. And so whenever you have that problem, make sure that you always do your middle color like higher up on to that eye crease bone right there. Leave that baby alone. We got to have fun. She rotten. Y'all, she's rotten. Okay, so whenever your eye... What is that called, Valerie? I, I cannot believe I can't remember. Um, when your eye is like... A hooded eye. If you have a hooded eye. Um, then you just want to go a little bit higher onto that bone. So whenever your eyes open, you still can see that medium color that you put in your crease. Okay? Moving on. Now, I'm going to do my accent color. And um, I'm going to use Mocha Java Shimmer. This is like one of my favorites. Um, it was one of the first ones that I ever bought um, for myself. And I also bought Sandstone Pearl Shimmer, which is a really light, um, like creamy, shimmery color. And um, I just really love Mocha Java Shimmer. I'm putting it on my blending palette right now. Takes a minute sometimes to get it on my palette. Sorry. So I got my Hollywood shirt on today. Can you see it? Nope. Got my Hollywood shirt on today. Um, because I got this whenever I went to um a Cinegents training that we had in Anaheim, and uh, we just had a good time and we learned uh, makeup techniques and um. 
I'm looking forward to going back again next January. Um, okay, so for your eye, um, for your accent color, I always say you do a sideways C. Okay, you're just going in and go about halfway over. Okay, make that halfway C go over. Okay, and then to extend your C, you're gonna bring it up onto the bone. You see that? I'm going here and I'm going up onto that bone there and then I'm going down about halfway okay now I'm gonna come back in before it dries Whoop, I'm dropping stuff let me get it okay I draw my brush okay so then you're just gonna go in again and you're just going to make sure blend it in very important blend 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 Okay, so I'm happy with the way that this eye has turned out. If you can tell the difference, this one just has a little bit more, uh, it doesn't look like, it looks a little bit more done on this side than the other side. Can you tell? Maybe. So if y'all are bored on Sunday, no, because that's like when the big game is. Um, no, and if you're in San Antonio, that we are, um, my girlfriend Casey and I are going to have a girl party at my house, and, um, Casey and I are going to be doing facials, and we're going to do, be doing, um, makeovers on people, so that could be, um, if your skin is bothering you, we can give you, um, a um, get you started on like a skincare routine and kind of show you how to take care of your skin. If you're wanting to um, learn a new like color cosmetic technique, we can help you with that too. Um, but we'll just be working together on Sunday. It starts at, I believe, 5.30. I'll put the invitation on um, my page, so just check it out. And um, if you don't already know my address, just know that, just text me and I'll get it to you, okay? So, that's pretty much it for doing your, like, basic eye makeup, okay? Pretty simple. Works for pretty much every kind of eye, um, eye shape. And, um, you just have to, like, tweak it a little bit if you have that hooded eye. And the only thing that you do different is you just bring it a little bit higher up onto that bone right in there. So, when your eyes open, you can see it. Um, I'm gonna save, um, the eyeliner for another day, just cause I wanna keep these videos as short as I can, and, um, I will do the winged eyeliner next, um, also know today is the last day of, um, January, and corporate is offering a $55 credit if you get our, um, makeup membership, and it only costs $55 for the makeup membership. So you're basically getting it for free. And today is the last day to do that. So um, holler at me if you are interested in that. Holler at me if you have any questions about my eye makeup uh, routine that I did today. Be looking for me for the winged eyeliner, ladies. Y'all have a good day. Bye.